Hello everyone. Today I would be discussing about the disaccharides that has to be performed. So in disaccharides we would be including reducing disaccharide and non-reducing disaccharide. So when uh, reducing disaccharides like uh, the given sample is you don't know when there is unknown but when you know that it is a lactose or maltose then we need to perform this all test. So starting with Monish test as they are carbohydrate it will give you the violet purple color ring at the junction of two layers we can write in the inference that carbohydrate is present iodine test it is a disaccharide so no change is observed here we can mention the polysaccharide and absent maybe mono or disaccharide could be present so here need to differentiate between mono and disaccharide we will here then we need to do whether it is a reducing or non-reducing disaccharide. So I will perform Benedict's test. It would give you brick red precipitate. That will suggest the sugar, the sample is reducing sugar. So it could be fructose, lactose, maltose, sucrose, fructose. Right? Whether it is a monosaccharide and disaccharide. So here we got to know the given sample is reducing in nature. Then I will perform Barford test. No change is observed as the given sample is disaccharides. So monosaccharide absent, disaccharide may be present. Now I need to differentiate between these two disaccharide, lactose and maltose. Here selenium test is not required. Then I will perform directly the Osazon test. As this is a confirmatory test or we can say a test that is done to differentiate between lactose and maltose. If it is a lactose then it would give you the powder puff shaped crystals. If it is a maltose then it will give you sunflower shaped crystals. So we will just go through the all test color and what all observation you get. Next is the sucrose. Sucrose it is a non-reducing sugar. So first we need to do the Molish test as it, as it is a carbohydrate we will get a purple violet color ring that is observed at the junction of two layers. So carbohydrate present. Iodine would be negative right as polysaccharide absent mono or disaccharide may be present. Next is Benedict's test. There would be no change observed because the given sugar is non-reducing in nature. So by here I get to know, okay, my sample could be either sucrose. Here it cannot be starch because polysaccharide is absent. So the given sample is sucrose. So further, for non-reducing sugar, I will do the inversion test. In inversion test, after neutralizing the sample, we perform Benedict's test. Benedict's test will neutralize sample. We will get the red precipitates. So we can write sucrose present. Sucrose on hydrolysing will give you glucose and fructose. This will reduce the cupric ion to cuprous ion and will form red precipitates of cupric oxide. So here we can see the different observation for Molish test. It would be violet purple ring in the junction of two layers. Next, iodine test would be negative for both lactose and maltose as they are disaccharides. Benedict's test here would be negative for sucrose and for lactose or maltose it would be positive. Same thing that this lactose, maltose they are the reducing sugar. Sucrose as their free group is not available, it is been locked. So it is non-reducing sugar. As we do the inversion test. Barfords, as it is a disaccharide, it will give this blue color. There would be no change would be observed. Selivanov for this it is not required. After inversion test, we can do the selivanov test with neutralized sample for fructose. Sucrose on hydrolysis will give one molecule of glucose and one molecule of fructose. So for that after neutralizing sample
sample, it will give this salivino test positive. This is the inversion test. This first is neg Benedict's test that is negative. And after doing the Benedict's test, when you utilize sample, it will give this Benedict's test positive. It would be weakly negative. Then for the confirmation of the disaccharide, reducing disaccharide, we will perform Usazon test. So by this characterized stick crystals, we can differentiate between lactose and maltose. So that's all for the disaccharides. In the next video, we will see about the polysaccharide and unknown classification. Mm-hmm.